Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is Brandon here, and man, I have had one hell of a weekend. Uh, so, uh, this past weekend was NecoCon 2016 in the far off and mystical land of Virginia. So, before I begin talking about this uh, little trip that I took, uh, I'd like to make a little channel note and say that uh, I realized that the last video, uh, it was kind of hard to hear me speak because of the music that I use, but I haven't quite decided if it was completely the music or if it was a combination of the uh, music and also me talking too low, so I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder and maybe make the music a little bit lower. Either way, I'm finding a balance. So uh, without further ado, here's my story. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, the uh, event that I went to was NecoCon 2016, and it's an anime convention in Virginia. As you can see, I just got back a couple hours ago, because I'm still sort of repping my uh, casual cosplay, <laughs> just because it is super easy to do, but uh, whatever. Anyway, so as I've mentioned before, I live in Delaware, so Virginia is a little bit of a drive, uh, about four hours to be exact. So we left Thursday night and got there probably about 2 or 3 in the morning. Also, sorry my phone keeps going off. I'm going to silence that now. Alright, so after the whole uh, rigmarole of getting to the convention, uh, it was uh, the next day was Friday, so my girlfriend was kind of uh, you know just working on her cosplay a lot. So I ended up being at the uh, convention alone a little bit, which was a uh, first-time thing for me. I know I've been uh, kind of talking about a lot of first times, like go to the movies alone and stuff like that. But um, the reason why she was working on her cosplay, it just, uh, it worked out really well in the end, but there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into it. But uh, I think it came up good because, uh, well, here's uh, right here. Was a little bit of an example to uh, show you what she was working on. And besides that, there's some other examples, and I'm just going to flash those up uh, right now. But yeah, um, so the costume was really popular, and she got a lot of people that uh, wanted to take pictures of her and stuff, and she got a really uh, overwhelmingly positive review from it, so that was really cool. Um, besides that, there, there were a lot of great cosplayers there. Um, this is the first time I've been to the convention, but, uh, you know, I, I could assume, like, it's been the best year yet for cosplayers. Uh, in fact, uh, I definitely have to say that my favorite cosplayers were, uh, these two. For anyone who's played the game, uh, they're, uh, cosplaying Max and Chloe from Life is Strange, and I, it, it's uncanny how much they look it's really cool so anyway uh when i wasn't checking out cosplayers and stuff like that and helping to you know put together cosplay uh on friday i participated in a friday night magic and i screwed up once again because <laughs> as per usual i had a deck built i had been playing grixis control but uh you know my the people i was sharing the room with told me that i should play the uh this red green deck and of course mirror match first round so it was we got a late start so i just decided to uh, go back to the hotel room after that uh definitely no hard feelings the guy i played against was a really cool dude and we were just joking around and you know messing around the whole time we were playing so i'm definitely not bitter about losing at all then on saturday there was a uh, edh tournament so i borrowed a deck from one of my friends who was uh staying with me Hey Dave, if you see this video. Anyway, uh, so I was playing his deck, and it turned out to be a 20-person tournament, which is pretty huge, because I'd never played in an EDH tournament before. In fact, my experience with EDH is pretty limited, so it was definitely a, kind of a surreal experience. But uh, yeah, so I was probably at that for about four hours before I decided to kind of just take off, because... <laughs> It wasn't going anywhere too fast, so uh, after I did leave and everything, it turned out that the game went on for about another two hours after that, so about six hours total, so that would have used up a lot of my con time, which was uh, slowly dwindling. 
So, besides the Magic the Gathering stuff, and I'll stop being a super nerd for a second, uh, the game room was really awesome. They had a lot of uh, modded arcade cabinets that could play pretty much anything. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed because they did have a DDR machine, but the machine that they had was... Uh, it was kind of a customized floor panel for it, so it was slipping all over the place and probably downright dangerous to play, but hey, they tried. What can you do? And other people were having a lot of fun with it. I just really didn't want to risk falling <laughs> in front of everyone. Uh, besides the, that, they had a Pump It Up machine, but as everyone knows, Pump It Up is far inferior to DDR. I have to say that the uh, probably the best game that I played in the game room was uh, something I'd never heard of before, and uh, it's called uh, I think like Project Toho or something. But it's a fighting game, and uh, pretty much you just play as like little like uh, like the, I guess like chibi anime girls type of thing, and you just fight each other, and they have pretty cool move so i was playing as this one girl that used puppets kind of uh similar to uh i can't remember the dude from naruto that uses the uh puppets okay i just looked it up uh ken kuro was the guy's name not that it really matters all that much okay so to kind of wrap this thing up i guess i'll talk about a couple of things that i bought so the uh first well not technically the first because i bought this on the last day i didn't really buy anything on the other days i I did, but I'll tell you about that in a second, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I bought one of these guys, a, uh, Gundam model kit. So, there we go. I bought a Gundam model kit, so, uh, as I said, I've been home for a couple hours, and the reason why is because I was kind of putting it together a little bit, so it's not done yet, but it's enough to kind of see what it looks like. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it was, but it's a, uh, 1 in 1 44th scale model, so, uh, yeah, eh, it's pretty neat. <laughs> the weapon it has is really cool. That's kind of what sold it for me, but it's not done yet. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll put it in another video if I uh, finish that soon. Uh, the next thing I bought, uh, I actually bought some uh, Japanese candy, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to try to get kind of a decent view on this because I don't feel like taking a picture of it and then posting it. But uh, here we have uh, got this candy. Uh, my Japanese isn't that great, but... Uh, yeah, from what I could tell with the packaging, I guess it uh, turned your mouth black. I assume it's some type of, like, black cherry candy. Uh, next, I got uh, what I can s assume is uh, some Pokemon gum. So, I'm sure that's good. I just bought it because Charmander, and hey, why not? Uh, also, uh, this I actually did get to try. This is uh, some Yokai Watch chewing gum. It's got a uh, Jibanyan on it, so... Uh, this stuff was actually really good. I was surprised at how good it tastes because the fact that it wasn't just some like novelty candy, it was pretty tasty. Uh, and the last thing I got, and these, uh, I'm gonna have to try these with friends. I can't really do these by myself, but what it is, uh, from what I could gather from the packaging, there's three pieces of gum in here. Uh, two of them are the uh, sweet grape taste, but one of them is uh, apparently in a really sour grape so yeah i don't know how sour it is i grew up eating warheads and stuff like that so uh i'd be really surprised if it was more sour than that but eh, pleasantly surprised i guess all right uh moving on from the uh fun japanese snacks that i got uh i got uh i bought some cards when i was there so uh the first thing i bought because uh I actually, I didn't buy it because I really wanted the cards inside, I just kind of wanted the package. But I have on my wall kind of a uh, picture frame type of thing, and it has a lot of like old Magic the Gathering packs, and this is one I don't have yet, so uh, I got it, I think a pretty decent price, but it's a Magic the Gathering uh, Fallen Empires pack. So, I'm not going to go through everything in the pack, but uh, one thing that someone told me is used, I don't know if it's necessarily valuable, but it's at least used in uh, EDH, I've heard. Uh, I got High Tide from it, which costs, it's an instant, costs one blue, and uh, until end of turn, all islands produce an additional blue mana. So, uh, I thought, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's really any valuable cards in uh, Fallen Empires, and that's why they're only 5 bucks a pack for something that's probably at least uh, 10, 15 years old. I don't know exactly when it came out. 
Okay, and the final thing that I bought this weekend is something that I said I would buy in the last video. Um, the new uh, uh, Pokemon XY Evolutions came out, the uh, new expansion set. So I said that I wanted to buy some, so I did. But yeah, I got super lucky with it. Did not expect this, but I'll just show you a picture of it because I already took a decent one. And here it is. You know, it's funny, I did say that I wanted to open a Charizard from that, but I, di I didn't think it would be that one, but, you know, hey, that's cool. I kind of wanted the uh, old classic art one, but I'll take a Mega EX. I don't really play the game, but hey, it's a cool looking card. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for listening and everything. It was a really great time this weekend, and uh, yeah, uh, maybe go next year. Kind of a long, uh, long drive and stuff, and... Yeah, I don't know. Possibility. But anyway, besides that, have a good night. See you around.